Hey y'all, it is your girl Chastity, and I am back with a quick message from God. Real quick, I want y'all to do one thing, one thing, invite God in, invite God into every area of your life and every situation. Like invite God into your marriage, your relationship, your finances, your job, your career, your business, um, your vices, like things that you keep doing or using to self-soothe. Um, invite him into your home. Invite him into every area of your life. Don't just invite him into your life, but invite him into every area of your life. Um and I say this because some people I notice will constantly complain or battle with the same situation, the same addiction, the same, um, you know, the same sins, the same, um, the same situation that is repetitive. And the reason why they keep on falling short is because they keep trying to deal with things on their own versus inviting God in so that he can help you because we all know there's nothing honestly that I have done or that I have defeated overcame healed from that I could do on my own I literally had to partner with God I had to surrender that thing through uh to God and lean on to him for everything so I want y'all to truly invite God in invite him in y'all you know, some things, um, I was listening to something earlier while jogging and they mentioned that you may feel like some people don't get convicted like you do. And it's the truth because I feel like that when it comes to secular music, when it comes to cursing, when it comes to um, premarital sex, I'm like, child, I get convicted just with the thoughts. Or if I slip up and curse, child, I be convicted. And the next person may not be convicted, and that's because they haven't invited God in. They are okay with being uh, stagnant. They are okay with being content. Some people be strong God on ignorance, child, and they're okay with that. They're okay. They're okay with going through um, failed relationship after failed relationship, dating a quote-unquote same type of guy or same type of woman, but they're the same person and they're the common denominator in every situation. They're okay with it. They're okay with self-soothing with vices such as drugs, um, alcohol, porn, um, you know, um, sex, what gambling, whatever it is that y'all do. They are okay with those things. And that's because they're they're okay with um they're content in their sin they're content in their um in their in the season that they're in and until you surrender that to god and invite god into your situation you're going to continue living in that same cycle same cycle and until you get tired and i don't know about y'all but i got so tired like don't get me wrong sin was fun child that's when <laughs> Have the time of my life, okay? Do you hear me? But walking in in um, the light of how can I word this? Walking with God is way better. It's peaceful. It's fun as well, and it's so much better because now I don't have to be looking over my shoulder in you know, have the thoughts of, okay, this fun till it ain't. I mean, I could keep on having premarital sex with with these men until I get caught up and catch something or get pregnant and have a child out of wedlock or, you know, whatever the case may be where I'm so broken and so um, traumatized from creating all these different soul ties. It's fun till it's not. And until you've lost all of you, I don't know about y'all, but when I was still like, you know, dabbling in it, I started feeling so empty. It wasn't, it wasn't fulfilling my flesh. And that's how I knew that God was trying to remove, excuse me, remove me out of that to get me, deliver me from that sin of premarital sex. So I just want y'all to invite God in because I promise y'all, being a Christian ain't easy. Let's be very clear. 
but it's so worth it to walk with God. Like, there's no other love better than the love of God. I was reading, I'm in the book of Romans right now, and I was reading Romans chapter 8 today. In Romans chapter 8, I think verse 38, it simply just says, like, there's no better love than God's. Like, there's nothing that can separate us from the love of God. Like, God is going to love us regardless. So whatever it is that you do, that you may have disappointed God, you all the sinning that you've done, it's okay. If you repent and you surrender to God, he's going to forgive you because he loves us that much. Now, don't be repenting and then just keep on staying and sin and just keep doing the same thing and like, oh, well, I could go repent. God going to forgive me anyways. Yeah, he going to forgive you, but uh, grace does run out. So, especially when you know better, you do better. But if you're intentionally doing the same things over and over again, I mean, Chris may run out a little bit, okay? You going to feel the wrath, all right? But yeah, yeah, I just want y'all to invite God in and let God just step into your situation and partner with him so that he can deliver you, so that he can bless you, so that he can heal you, so that he can give you this better life and newness. If he he can't, he's standing, he's literally, it says it in the word that he is standing at the door waiting for you to open it to invite him in. He's standing there knocking. Like, I'm going to keep on knocking until you're ready to invite me in. So invite him into your situation. Same thing for those that are in uh, those demonic covenants that I mentioned, like me denouncing or in covenants with tarot readings, um, you know, Masonic, um, Masonics and the Eastern Stars and um, D9 or any fraternity, sorority, anything you done created a covenant with and uh, the bylaws did those rituals and stuff and any and everything and you can be in covenant with um you know alcohol whatever it is okay anything outside of the covenants that god allows and that is um pleasing to god you need to invite god in okay i want y'all to receive salvation just like me so be obedient invite god in let him into your situation so that he can heal you and deliver you. All right, y'all.